Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Once again, so today we are going to look at the topic which is related to HTML server. We are going to look at how we can migrate HTML server from one server to another server. In order to do that, of course, we need to see the requirements of HTML server. We are going to install HTML server on a new server. Then we are going to do the backup from old server and restore it to the new machine. Then if required, we might need to do MX records, um, update the MX record, which are pointing to the old server and host name and etc. In my case, I'm not going to do these kind of things because it's a test environment, MX record and all these are not applicable to my test lab. But yes, of course, if you are using HTML server for your proper email system, not in the lab, then of course you need to take care of these things. And then once this is done, we need to confirm the migration. So I have already downloaded the HTML server on this. Um, I'm going to run the setup. I'm going to click on run as administrator. I accept the agreement. Next, next, next. Use external database or use built-in database. I'm going to go with built-in database on this. HTML. Click next, install. You see it is initializing database, HTML database and everything. Now let's connect to it. And we are good to go over here. Now, if you see over here, this is a very fresh, no domain, nothing is there. Now we have to switch back to our old server. I mean, the one which we want to migrate. And in that, you have backup option in under utilities. There are a couple of ways you can do it through a VB script, which is available. If you want to do it on schedule basis through schedule job, you can come over here in add-ons, you have utilities and you have this VB script which you can run on schedule basis also, but you need to replace the password over here. But for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply use this and I'm going to do the setups, um, do the settings for what I would like to backup. I'm just going to click start and it is backing up my account and everything and it is successfully completed because it's a test environment it does not have much details and options available over here um, no details no much stuff I would say so if you see over here I have these configuration already there if you see my computer, my email relay, etc. Now what our next step is to go and verify if the backup is completed over here. We have over here, what we need to do is now we need to move it to the other server, which I can just simply go like this. PC01. Okay, see dollar users and I'm going to place it over here. Okay, now let's switch back over here and just verify if this file is available over here. Now the next step is to restore it, okay? So if we come over here just before restoring, if you see, uh, I have different settings over here. So I'm going to go into backup, restore place. I'm going to choose my backup file, which I did from the old server. I'm going to go into desktop, hmail, and this is the file. And I'm going to select 
everything which I would like to restore. It says all settings will be cleared and all messages deleted prior to restore. Are you sure? I'm sure about it, of course. And then if you come over here, let's save this also and let's see the logs first. So logs is restored completely successfully. We have saved the settings. Now if we go over here, things are changed into this relay area. Now NAT has come and things are there. Restore is done of course. Now let's just try to run the HMAIL administration again. Okay, if you see now, my accounts are shifted over here. If I go into protocols and things over here, you see all these settings which were there before migrating that database have replaced with the database setup. So this is how you can migrate your HMAIL server to a new server. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.